dark rainbow time. What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. Today we are looking at the Holo Taco Dark Rainbow Collection, which is seven new linear holographic shades. This is a permanent collection, so if these shades happen to sell out, they will be restocked. So I will link the Holo Taco website down below if you want to check any of them out. They retail for $14 USD individually, or as of this weekend, you can actually grab the Dark Rainbow Bundle for a slight discount. That retails for $91 USD, and it's all seven shades, so you get like seven dollars off a dollar off each bottle that's pretty cool or also if you want to go big or go home you can grab the rainbow trilogy bundle which is all three rainbow collections the original the pastel and the dark for 273 dollars usd which is i know that sounds pricey but if you have none of these polishes and you can get them at a discount like that like that's pretty cool so i love that holo taco offers this if you don't know much about holo taco they are an independent nail polish brand owned by fellow youtuber christine of simply nail logical they are a vegan and cruelty free brand and their formula is five free make sure that you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you're never missing out on new nail polish or holo taco content and next week i have a really fun video coming where we actually tried to dupe these shades with polishes that have been out for like a year so i'm very excited about that one you're not gonna want to miss it so definitely make sure that you are subscribed i think that's enough babbling we're gonna quickly look at the sold out limited edition collector's box that came with these polishes the polishes are not limited the box was limited so we're gonna quickly just look at the box and then move on to the swatches so like I said, the box is sold out and I think it sold out a little bit quicker than Holo Taco even expected it to, but you can see we're getting a rainbow graphic and then these rainbow linear holographic lines going up and down the front and back. And then of course we get all the shade names on the back and when we open it up, we have all seven polishes. They each come in their standard box and you can really kind of see that hollow pattern in there. It's so pretty. I love the rainbow boxes. I love the seven piece collection boxes from Holo Taco. They're just always so nice and it's just such a fun collector's item. And I'm really happy that I got this one because it's, it's beautiful and it fits in so well with the other two. The first shade in this collection that we'll look at is Dead Petals, which is this dark, deep magenta base color. And then in there, of course, we're getting a bunch of linear holographic pigment. And if you're not really sure what that means, linear holographic, once it dries, you sort of get this, people call it a linear flame or a flare. And it's this, these sort of lines or this circle of holographicness. You'll see it once I finish this application, but this shade was two coats for full coverage for me. This whole collection was. Some of them practically could probably be one coaters. They were so deep and rich. They went on so nice and smoothly. The formula was great. Of course, we love the Holo Taco formula and these do have their skinny brush. So just so you know, and you can see they dry down a little bit mattified. So of course you're gonna wanna put a glossy top coat over these to really bring out that rainbow shine. And you can see what I mean about that flame shape or those lines of hollow on the nail. It's just such a cool effect. I love linear hollow polishes because that base color really affects kind of how the hollow pigment looks. And then we're looking at this with the flash now. So you can see in a phone flash or out in the sun or in certain types of lighting, it's just gonna light up they get so bright and rainbowy and sparkly and they're so fun next we will look at crimson void which is the red of this collection but it's this sort of deep bricky red that has a pink twang to it you can see on the application it's almost a berryish color but i will say once we look at this later on in the video compared directly next to dead petals you'll see this is such a red polish this one does not look that pink and we're going to build it up in the two coats. You can see that rainbow effect sort of comes through in the application, but these are the type of polish that once they dry down, that's when the effect really comes through. And once your top coat dries, it just, it lets them get so glossy and rainbowy. And I, 
I could gush about linear hollows. They're probably my favorite type of hollow, which coming soon, a video all about types of hollow. How does that sound? Does that sound fun? But back to the shade, you can see the red color, that red base kind of brings out the blue in the holographic pigment. It's a really cool effect. I love the, just that deep base and the way it makes that linear hollow pop so much. It's just, oh, it's so cool. Next, we have Burnt Bridges, which is technically the orange of this collection, though it's dark orange, which is really just brown. So you'll see on the second coat more so, you'll get this. It really is, it's like a brown base, but then we get the linear hollow, of course. So the rainbows in this one are very cool, I think, because this one is a bit darker and not as saturated as the last two were, you really get the full on linear hollow effect of these. You'll see it here as we start to wiggle the finger in a moment. And once we get to the full hand, that it just, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love this shade so much. I think a brown linear hollow was definitely missing from Holo Taco. We got silver, we got black, and I think brown kind of, it was just, it was like a staple that was needed. So I love that this shade now exists and is part of this collection and is permanent because it deserves to be permanent. And then the phone flash, you can see such a cool effect, the way that this one lights up because it's so dark. It's, oh, oh my God, I, I truly love this one. Next, we have Amber Apathy, which is the yellow of this collection. And I really like the direction that Holo Taco went with this shade. I feel like it's a bit warmer than I expected it to be when I thought of them creating a dark rainbow collection. So you can see on this application, we're getting this sort of honey. It's like, it's like a dark, it's a dark yellow, but it's, it's warm. It's really nice. Like it's a really nice base color. So I love this shade. I think this one's kind of underrated. I believe this was the lowest selling individual one of this collection when these launched. And I'm like, why? Because it's a golden linear hollow. This is gonna look so good with gold play button. Is that what that shade was called? I think that's what that shade was called. I don't know. I just think that this is such a, again almost like a staple in a way like a gold linear hollow taken out of the context of the dark rainbow collection i just think a gold linear hollow polish is so beautiful and then of course when we put the phone flash on you're getting a bunch of that rainbow so even though this one is a little bit lighter than the last one you're still getting so much rainbow effect it's so pretty next we have lost in the woods which is the green shade in this collection and the thing i loved about this one was it's sort of a blue leaning green a teal leaning green so you can see on this application it's not just a green green like an emerald green we're getting this sort of blueness to it and i'm not sure if that's even the effect of the hollow pigment like how we saw in the red shades you sort of get that blue which then makes it look a little bit more purple so they're kind of cool toned and maybe that's a similar thing that's happening in this green but whatever it is i'm so down for it this one is so special it might be my favorite of this collection just because it seems the most unique from its counterparts in the other collections, if that makes sense. So in other videos, we're going to we're going to look at all the rainbows. We're going to look at all the linear hollow in the world. But for now, we're looking at the full hand of this Lost in the Woods shade. And I am so in love. I feel like if you're going to only get one or two from this collection, this should be that one or two. And especially with the phone flash, with this deep green color you're just getting all this rainbow sparkle but you can still clearly see that it's green so it's just it's a really nice finished effect next up we have the blue shade in this collection which is sunken secrets and i think because of that name it makes me think of the sinking scene in get out it just like falling into that creepy void just sinking down it's so fitting for this dark rainbow collection but this one is like i said a blue base and we're getting all of that linear holographic pigment and also practically a one coater just like the last one i feel like 
I always am going to apply two coats just to make sure it's even and smooth and everything, but the fact that these formulas are good enough to be a one coat nail polish is just very impressive. I love the quality of these. I loved the just experience of using them. It's such a nice and easy to use formula and the payoff is so spectacular. I just, I love these linear hollow shades. It's such a cool effect. And the thing about these ones, I feel like it's a little bit of a larger linear holographic pigment. So you can really see in the flash shots, you get all of these extra sort of sparkles around the edges and it's just, very rainbowy. It's like linear hollow whoop, turned up to 500 instead of six. You know what I mean? Rounding out the collection, we have Violet Nightmares, which is a beautiful purple base color. And then of course we're getting all that linear holographic pigment and where this one is a very dark base because it's purple. Of course, purple is going to be a darker color. The way that the hollow shines on this one, especially in the flash, but even just in the full hand. And I feel like even at this point in the application, you can see how much rainbowness is happening on the nail. So I just think that that shows how good these pigments are, how beautiful this formula is. And I love that Hollow Taco just adds so many different colors to their linear hollow polish lineup because any nail art or nail project that you want to do that normally you'd maybe use creams for you can just use all these different linear hollow polishes instead and then in turn you end up with linear hollow nail art instead of regular nail art so it's just it's really cool i'm excited to play around with these and just have a bunch of creative experiments and just play around because they're such a great formula and they are so versatile that you really can do anything with them and it would be a sin not to look at all of these shades next to each other so here you can see the full dark rainbow in its beautiful linear holographic glory and we're gonna get a little wiggle on each shade just so you can see that holographic effect kind of how the nails look in different environments and angles and I'm just totally obsessed with this collection. I think that Palo Taco really did nail every single shade in this collection. I just, ugh, I just think that they're all perfect. Now that we've seen all of the shades in this video, I want to hear your thoughts on them. So leave a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Which ones did you pick up or did you grab? the box when it launched? Did you grab the collection when it launched? Like, what did you think of these shades? Because I know a lot of people were really excited about this collection. I personally was too. So I was very pumped when I saw that this is what they were coming out with for fall. It's like the perfect time of year for that. The dark bases show the hollow so well. The gradient possibilities that these open up now between the other collections and just nail art and amazing stuff that you can do with these. So I'm so excited to have them in my collection and continue to play around with them. As I mentioned, make sure you have notifications turned on so you're always seeing when a new video comes out. I really think you're gonna love the one coming next week and we just have more swatches and fun stuff. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you like nail polish, but I think that's gonna be it for this one today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. My camera keeps overheating and this is literally the fourth time I've started recording this. Yeah.